Hey everyone, Matthew David here at the Stone's Throw Dungeon. It's a pleasure to be a part of the legendary Amoeba Records series, What's in My Bag? Okay, starting off, we have Zero's Blacklight. It dropped this year, 2020, I think in April or May. Personally, I've been waiting 10 years for Zero to make this album. A lot of us have been waiting and it's the one. It's uh, undefinable music, a, a pillar for LA. Um, it's experimental, spiritual, and psychedelic. All produced by Zero. I urge you to listen to it. I have a really cool tape here to show off. This is Spells by Naila Hunter. Naila is a harpist, composer, vocalist, songwriter from LA. This is a six song EP. It's 12 minutes. Each song has a painting. Each painting has an incantation. This is very intentional, modern new age, ambient music, very magical music. Naila Hunter, spells, do it. Alice Coltrane, of course, we love you Alice. My personal favorite Alice record, um, my favorite album cover of all time. Radha Krishna Nama Sen Kirtana. This kind of has everything that I need from Alice packaged into one record. It's got the ashram devotional chanting gospel music. It's got the ambient spiritual celestial jazz and it's got the really free stuff. The B-side track is a 19 minute long free jazz exploration, Om Namah Shivaya. 1977 on the Warner label. Thank you, Alice, for everything. Um, next up we have Ambient 3. This is Laraji's Day of Radiance. It's all music is Laraji and produced by Brian Eno. Laraji is a personal spiritual mentor. I work closely reissuing some of Laraji's music. This one's really important, I feel like, because it really solidified New Age as the serious genre being co-signed by uh, an esteemed producer such as Eno, and it introduced Laraji's music to the world. Big one. Let's see, next up, let's do another cassette. Um, Rahu EP from Sharda Shashidar. Another one on the Leaving label. Produced by Jira, AKA Jamail Dean, who is a jazz pianist and electronic music producer. This, this one is, is special uh, for jazz and beat scene uh, music of LA. Uh, Sharda's voice is a gift from heaven. Uh, she effortlessly sings and harmonizes. And Jamail's production just adds this like gorgeous uh, lo-fi textural layer to her music. I worked closely with them on this one and it's a uh, really proud achievement. This is a big one for me. Outcast Equimini. This cassette is definitely a prized possession. My favorite album of all time. Being from Atlanta, this one's very close to me. I studied this record when I got it. I think I was 14 or 13. I had just moved from Atlanta to Florida. and It's a big formative time for me. This record helped me through a lot. Um, people should be talking about this record more, especially right now, I feel like. It's a huge record for the South and just for music. Sudan Archives, Sync EP, out on Stone's Throw. Um, Sudan and I worked very collaboratively on this one and the EP before this one, which was her self-titled debut, but this one is my favorite. Um, just a perfect blend of lo-fi and hi-fi production. Sudan's violin stylings are influenced from West African fiddling and she adds to such a cool futuristic 
uh, R&B production layer. Love you, Sudan. Thanks, Amoeba. Signing off from the Stone's Throw Dungeon here. I'm gonna put my mask back on and go run some errands. See y'all under the tree when it's safe to do so. Amoeba! Ah.